What's up guys, Rich at Revere Urban Homestead. First thing I want to do this 4th of July weekend is get some shade cloth over these green beans. They're starting to struggle. It's getting really hot, plus 90s every day, a lot of intense heat. I need to get them covered up a little. They are flowering, but not producing any kind of beans at all. So I went to Lowe's. So this is just sunscreen fabric. It says it shades up to 75%. That'll be cool. All right, so what I'm thinking about doing is just stapling it up to that wood right there and just bringing it across, and then I'm not sure. Let's just staple it up first. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I put the shade cloth up. All I did, I had a piece of one by one piece of wood right here. I just kind of hammered it into the ground a little and it split in half when I was doing it. So I just screwed it back together to the size I needed, stapled it on there. And now we have a little shade for the strawberries and the beans. And hopefully that's gonna help protect them make them not as stressed first of all and maybe give me some beans dang it shade cloth is on hopefully it stays all i did was staple it so <laughs> we'll see good morning everyone welcome back to revere urban homestead it's sunday july 5th i hope everyone had a nice safe happy independence day um we went over to my brothers hung out we had food all the cousins played in the pool it was a good time anyway what i want to do this morning we had a little storms come through, it rained a little bit, but now it's dried off, sun's out. I wanna bring the chicks out into their little cage so they can play outside, get some fresh air, be in the grass. So let's get that going. The little babies. All right, so there they go. They get to sit outside in the grass and the fresh air. I'm gonna go put a little box in there for them. They'll be good to go. Hey girls, do you see them babies over there? Hmm? You were like that just four months ago. They're so curious. Let's go let them out and see what they do and how they react to the new babies. Do you see the big girls? What you think, Blue? What do you think, babies? Look at them. Look at the little girls. Look at how big you all look now compared to them. That is amazing. They grow so quick. You all got to get used to each other because you're going to be in the same flock. All right, let's do a quick update on the micro green quick setup I did last week. All right, there it is. I like this. I haven't used it yet, the underwater tray that I built, but it should be good. Radishes are looking good. Those all germinated pretty, pretty nicely. Salad mix looks pretty good. Sunflowers are still in the dark. And the peas didn't really work. They got moldy. I don't know if it's because they're old seeds that I've had and they I kind of had them stashed in the garage. So this tray is done. That ain't going to work. All right, let's go check on the compost in the Rubbermaid that we started. We'll get that turned. I've been adding food scraps to it all week just to the top layer. So now we'll turn it all in. Let's go see what it looks like. Now that we got worms in here, I got to be real careful with the forks. I just want to nice and easily go in and turn it. It's looking pretty good. More worms. All right, so that stuff's looking good, guys. Doing a good job. It has been pretty windy, but my sunshade is still hanging in there. 
like I said, I just stapled it up there, so hopefully it doesn't get ripped off if it gets too windy. All right, guys, it's Monday, July 6th. It is my first day of vacation. And so on the first day of vacation, what I'm going to do is that yellow wall. We're going to take the stuff down and we're going to paint it the same color as in the kitchen, that nice light gray that I got, and just going to tie it all in together. So that's project number one. Okay, so I got the first coat done on that already. I skimmed out the bottom of the soffit here. I just gotta sand it when it dries, primer it, finish painting that, that'll be done. And another project I'm working on is this track. This used to be glass sliding doors because this room wasn't here. This was outside, so this is an add-on room. But they left the glass sliding door tracks in, see? And we haven't done anything about it for all these years. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to make a simple blind with wood just to kind of conceal it. Let me show you kind of what I'm talking about. So I just got these planks of wood and I'm going to make just a simple all wooden encasement and just totally conceal all this crap. <laughs> So anyway, that's what I'm working on now. I'll show you how it's looking when I'm done. Okay, second coat is applied. Now guys, I'm no carpenter, no trim carpenter or nothing, but so far this is what I got. We are encasing that glass sliding door track. So I just made a nice natural wood casing. Not bad. It looks better than that, uh, dang glass sliding door track sitting there so yeah I'm pretty happy with it so far I have to still put like a little trim piece like a almost like a ramp thing so we don't wedge our feet on here on the back end the lip and I have to figure out how to finish off the inside this side over here all right guys so that was the fourth of July weekend and the first day of my vacation Check it out. I got some progress done, man. Oh yeah, wall is done. Framing is done. Pictures are hung back up in the kitchen. We're getting there, we are getting there. Babies are chilling inside because it looked like it might rain. All right guys, so now it is day two of my vacation. It's only Tuesday. I still have all week off, I love it, but I am not putting in work today. I tell you what, painting, doing the framing, the measuring, the cutting, and all that stuff. I worked until Christine got home at 5 o'clock. I was like, oh, you're home? I'm not even done yet. I didn't even hang the pictures yet. I was waiting for the soffit under there to dry so I could repaint it. So anyway, today I'm a little more relaxed. I've just been chilling, sipping on some coffee. I'm going to go take a drive to the jetty. Gonna go just walk around and see if the, how the fishing is going on. I might go fishing in the morning, tomorrow morning. Um, so I just wanna go check it out, see the water conditions, see if anyone's catching anything, figure out what kind of lures I'm gonna need tomorrow if they are catching something specific. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna upload this to the computer. When I get back from roaming the beaches for a while, I'll come and edit it and it'll be up today, which is Tuesday, so. We will talk to you guys later, maybe sometime in the week, who knows. If not, next weekend. Have a good day.